It's Christmas Day. <laughs> Merry Christmas. What the hell? So last night was yeah, a bit crazy. I think I got to bed about six o'clock this morning. Look at the lovely street art. Kuala Lumpur. Oh, it's blood everywhere around here. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I've only just got up. It's not just me, though it seems the whole hostel uh, is feeling a bit worse for wear this morning. The hostel put on food last night and it looked really good as well. I didn't go for it. It was like 60 ringgit, so I didn't bother. But it looked amazing, to be honest. They had a barbecue, um, chicken, lamb, pork, all the old sorts going on. Well, it's Christmas Day, and I was thinking that things might not be open, but everything is, it seems that way anyway. So that's good. Means I can uh, grab some coffee and some food. Look at this, the right part of going on down here. Well, I definitely need coffee. Probably more than I've ever needed coffee on this entire trip, to be honest. And, oh, I could just eat a curry. Last night, I went out on the Bar Street in Kuala Lumpur after drinking God knows how many Carlsberg in the hostel. And yeah, so I went to a bar, paid £7.50 for a pint. And that was the cheapest one. It's not cheap going out in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Ah, oh, we have durian. Oh, look at this. Well, I've been here before, Blue Boy Vegetarian. It's a bit like a poker place, but like everything's veggie. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good last time. I'm not that far from Chinatown. So I think I'm gonna do that. I need to get some things. What do I need? I need some sunglasses. I need some uh, USB charger leads. I think uh, Chinatown might be the place to go for that stuff. I just crossed the road and the bridge that I took to cross and brought me straight into this Mall, it's called GBBB, I think it is. And last time I was here, we walked past it dozens of times. No intentions of going in because it's a mall. And then we kind of popped in, I think, to get a drink or something. And you realize that it's not actually a mall at all, it's an art gallery. There are actually shops in here, kind of uh, boutique shops, furniture, books, coffee. Um, but yeah, I think like the empty spaces have been turned into like uh, galleries where local artists can showcase their work. Like this, for example. This is an art attack workshop going on. And same here. Second-hand books. Honeycomb cookies. Ah. Can you try again? Can you try? You want to film? Step back, this way, and then again, move forward. There you go. He's the sound, <laughs> this guy. He's the sound, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him, look at him. Yeah. He's a monster. You better come properly. Thank you. So, <laughs> Wes, hello. <laughs> so we've 
come into the central market which has been a market in the heart of Chinatown since 1888 A market to get your fruit and veg. It's all kind of art shops and clothes, jewellery. So in the middle of Chinatown we have this Sri Miha Mariaman temple which is free to get in. You have to give your shoes on the outside and they look after your shoes for you for 20 cents. Now I've just handed in my shoes and he seemed surprised when I gave him some money, so... There's quite a lot of construction work going on, by the looks of it. Look at this for a contrast, the old China house, built in 1893. It's like a I've just come out of the Chinatown street market and at the bottom is a guy selling all kinds of spicy pork and chicken and he has something called Gui Fei meat which I did have before and it's quite expensive it's about three pounds for a hundred grams but from what I remember it's bloody lovely so let's see if I can find somewhere to sit down and just demolish all this pork just look at it Let's give it a go. When you first try it, it's like really sweet. But then the bacon flavour starts coming through. Well, it's night time on Christmas Day in Kuala Lumpur. And I'm heading up the bar street. Not really going for a drink, I just thought I'd show you what it was like. I was down here last night, it's very expensive. Not that place, I was in there, Temptations, that was actually cheaper. There you get two pints for 50 ringgits, or two pints for £10. And then there's a service charge, so it was two pints for 58 ringgit. Last time I was in Kuala Lumpur, this was the place I came to, this was uh, actually the uh, cheapest on the street. But I'm not sure anymore, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's changed. It's now a Mexican grill. Don't think it was a Mexican grill last time. Anyway, I'm gonna walk up to the top of the street and then walk back down again and then we'll head down the food street. I'm not gonna eat on here, it's just so unbelievably noisy everywhere. This is where we were last night. <laughs> I can tell I'm almost on Food Street because you get the smell of durian as soon as you start getting close. So this is where Bar Street ends and just to the right this is the Food Street. And straight away we've got the lovely pungent smell of durian. There's durian here, there's durian over there, durian here. Got all the Southeast Asian favourites here. Mangosteen, the Rambutan, and the king of fruit itself, durian. That's not bad. Got a couple of little pieces for 11 there, what did I pay? Three. 33 ringgit for a kilogram of Musang King. More here, let's have a look at some of the prices of the individual stuff. So. 
same price, 33 a kilogram. I got mine for six. Six ringgit a kilogram. This one over here, the black thorn durian. I saw some of that yesterday and it was a hundred ringgit per kilogram. The most expensive one I'd seen. Last year at Christmas I was in Brasov in Romania and for Christmas dinner I had a microwaved lasagna. My mum sent me some money across about a week ago saying make sure you get something nice for Christmas dinner. Now I'm not going to go and sit in a posh restaurant by myself. So I've come to the food street and I found this guy knocking up some lamb and I asked him how much it were and it was 34. It's, it's done by weight. Anyway, mine came to 39 so that's about 8 quid. So there's no way I would have paid that much, uh, you know, just for myself. But because my mum sent me this money, I've gone and treated myself. So here we go. Special recipe. <laughs> Wow, that is absolutely delicious. Just needs a Yorkshire pudding and some roasted. Cheers, Mum. <laughs>